Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly recap, breakdown, and review of one of my favorite shows on TV, and that is Apple TV Plus Season 2 of Ted Lasso. We are breaking down Episode 3, which was titled Doing the Rightest Thing, and this episode had all the right things going for it, and I'm so excited to break it down for you all in the spoiler discussion. But before we break it all down, do me a favor and check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you can get the alert for when I drop new content if you all enjoyed this spoiler discussion of season two of episode three of Ted Lasso we're well make sure to like the video share the video it helps out the channel a lot but also appreciate the support and in those comments let's talk about all the right things that this episode had going forward whether it be meeting Nora whether it be Sam making the right decision the team coming together with Jamie being included meeting the alter ego of Ted Lasso let's discuss it all in the comments below so just my initial thoughts coming off this third episode of season two of at last so I'm I love the hell out of this show man this this season so far three episodes in what I really appreciate so far is learning more about these secondary characters learning more about the clubhouse and learning more about the players in, in particular you know someone like Sam this season so far, learning more about him growing out of just being a soccer player and becoming more of a businessman and seeing his decision he makes in this episode, learning more about Keely and Roy's relationship, Rebecca, and of course, Ted Lasso. I'm just loving that the show is building not off of just this great character in Ted Lasso, played beautifully by Jason Sudeikis, but just meeting all the secondary characters and having them have more integral plots and, of course, the funny lines and the feel-good moments, but I'm just enjoying how this show is shaping up just to really build on these characters built on the narrative built on the themes and just having a good time with the show so i really did enjoy this third episode but again let me know what you all thought of episode three of season two of ted lasso so let's get into this recap as the episode opens up with ted meeting nora who is sissy's daughter we haven't seen her since last season when ted had that one night stand which is brought up in this moment which is so funny ted's like it's not my daughter is it? it's like ted you just had you know you had you hooked up with her six months ago how could you be the father's 13 year old but nonetheless sissy Sissy, man, she does not hold back when she <laughs> when she brings up a pretty graphic joke, right? When she's about to say, well, you didn't, you know, uh, we didn't have a baby because you did something else instead. <laughs> but I love her character. I hope that we get to see her a little bit more in this season because we only saw her once in, in last season. And I hope that she comes back in this season too. And who knows, her and, you know, uh, Ted Lasso might have some uh, romance going in the future. We'll see. But nonetheless, we learn this opening sequence that Rebecca will be watching over Nora while Sissy is at a conference for the week going to leaving the tough questions to Trent as he brings up the question we asked last week what will the clubhouse look like with Jamie being back on board and Ted Lasso assures the media that everything is going to go smooth which we talk about and find out later in this episode as far as this team coming together but speaking of Jamie he has a speech in front of the clubhouse he is telling the team I'm a new guy I'm sorry for my past mistakes but no Jamie it's not going to be that easy as the team is just telling him all the bad stuff that he's done and it's not going to be easy to forget what he has done his past mistakes this pretty bad things but nonetheless we see him even getting roughed up in practice Sam and particularly trips him up and say hey things are not the same when you were last here Jamie so I'm loving that the team wasn't just like so easy to accept him back we'll talk about the coming together at the end but he had to work for that right he had to earn that respect from his teammates but speaking of Sam and this is really the heart and kind of the the main theme of this episode is doing the right thing right as we see Sam Sam having this side plot involving this contract, this partnership with Dubai Air, and he texts his dad, who we know is a very proud father of his son, and his dad says, oh, I'm kind of disappointed in you, son, and breaks my heart that you're working with this company that is a bad company. They There's some they brought up that the, the, the company didn't want to take care of the oil, and they're corrupt, and, and they're not doing good things, so that was a really interesting plot, and we'll talk more about Sam, but I love how they bring it uh, integrity in this episode, but let's catch up with Roy and Rebecca as Roy who always gives out some great life lessons he tells Rebecca because we see that Rebecca and Nora you know Nora's kind of like she's a, she's older she's six years older from the last time she's seen Rebecca and she doesn't want to do all the little kiddish stuff so Roy gives her the advice to treat her more not like an adult but just be a little bit more mature around her and he takes we see Rebecca takes his advice and invites Nora to her office to see her run the day and day business which is encouraging for her to see you know her godmother being this woman of power but also she's a big 
clubhouse fan. She's a book f- football fan, and she has a favorite player that she would like to meet as well. So that plot was really kind of cool because I thought Nora was a, a mini version of her mom. And, I, and again, I hope we get more of not only Nora, but also Sissy, like I mentioned earlier. But going back to, let's talk about Keely, who the, the whole kind of the middle of the episode, we see that Keely has this new dating app. We see that Jamie wants to buy the affection of his team with buying them PS5s. And then we see more of the Sam and him deciding to drop the contract with the Dubai Air. But in between all that juiciness, we meet the guy, the that guy, I should say, that guy in Led Lasso, who is essentially just a mean version of Ted Lasso, as he, <laughs> so funny, he calls the team a bunch of dummies, and they start to touch your feet, which are your, your uh, touch each other's toes, and to touch the, the feet fingers, which is so funny, and then the whole metaphor of like, you know, you guys are going to be running laps and be more dehydrated than a, a tree in a Tim Burton film, <laughs> it was just so funny in this episode, and again, seeing this deep, this dark, darker, evil, mean version Ted Lasso was just so perfect. And it was just his way of getting the team to come together and him being the bad guy versus Jamie being the bad guy. So I just love Led Lasso. And it'll be interesting if we see more of these alter egos of Ted Lasso throughout this new season. But let's go back to Rebecca as Sam wants to drop his partnership with Dubai Air. And Rebecca is, you know, she's totally behind it. The host team is behind it. But we see that the owner of Dubai Air is like, yeah, that's fine. He can drop the contract, but I want you to drop him, which clearly Clearly, she doesn't do, and she takes more advice from young Nora in regards to how to respond to this owner. But let's cut back to Jamie, who is introduced to Dr. Phil Stone, and we see more of the awesome, great, incredible commentary by Roy as he is talking about the return of Jamie to the clubhouse. But I, I, we didn't get much of Dr. Phil Stone in this episode, even though she calls out Ted in regards to his kind of mind manipulative of like being the bad guy. And it'll be interesting to see if we get more of Jamie and Dr. Phil Stone in the future. But nonetheless, again, Roy and his commentary is perfect. But either way, I, I don't want to ignore the Sam plot, which was a big part of this episode, and him blocking out the logo, the team doing the same thing, including Jamie, which was such a great moment, the team coming together. But I do want to speak on, I love how this episode showed the themes of believing what you want to believe in in regards to fighting for something that's right, having the integrity, and, and again, seeing the team taking up on uh, on what Sam is doing was just a great moment and just kind of shows you again, the heart of the show, and again, doing the rightest thing. I really enjoyed that aspect and that theme that really shined through in this episode. But as we wrap up the episode, unfortunately, none of that translates to the team winning. They didn't tie, but they also didn't win. They did lose the match, but more importantly, they won the team bonding. We see by the end of the episode that Sam is talking to the media and says that he wants to fight for his country. He doesn't want to stand by a company that does corrupt things. And we see the team come together. Jamie comes together at the end. And again, they didn't win the match, but they won coming together as a team, which I think will ultimately lead to more victories. Because again, the clubhouse, everything's going well. Ted Lasso, Rebecca, everyone's working on the same page. But I think now that they have this kind of superstar player in Jamie, and then them all be on the same page, will inevitably translate to W's, which I hope so, and hopefully they can win a championship, which would be great, which might be how they might not end this season with a championship, but hey, we know that this is season three, and they might be holding up the trophy by the end of that season, but that's future future episodes, but this episode, nonetheless, we end with Nora getting a group picture with the team, which is just a great way to end the episode, and just a great episode, again, from Led Lasso to the jokes to seeing Rebecca learning from a young girl and taking some advice from her, which, by the way, again, like I said, Nora was so much fun, and I hope we get more of Nora, we get more of Sissy in the future episodes, but also, I can't neglect, like I said, the heart and the integrity and fighting for what you believe in and doing the rightest thing. This was a really fantastic episode of Tell Lasso, and I really enjoyed it, and that is going to end this recap, breakdown, and review, but I want to know what you all thought of this episode. What were some of your favorite moments, your funniest joke? Do you want to see more of Lil Lasso? Let's discuss it all in the comments. If you stuck around to the end of this video, I really appreciate every single one of you all. Make sure if you haven't already to like the video, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Make sure to check out all my other reviews that are on the channel right now. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you on the next video.